Hey Claiborne, this weekend's Easter. I think I've mentioned in the past that I really like Lego seasonal sets because they go well with the calendar. Steph has this Easter one that she actually hasn't put together yet, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put it together. It has about 145 pieces, so maybe we can do some math to determine how long it takes me to put together a 100 piece set. I don't know if the time starts actually when I open the bags or not, so I'm going to use scissors. How long are you supposed to have? What's the challenge? How fast can I put together 100 pieces? Oh, I thought there was a certain specific time. I don't remember. I think the, this, this kid was able to do it in 8 minutes. Whoa, 8 minutes? Eee, hurry up. I haven't even got the pieces out of the bag. No, hurry up. A hundred pieces is a lot more pieces than I thought it was. Well, this is not a hundred pieces, though. Yeah, but I haven't even done a hundred pieces yet. Six minutes. <laughs> Ta-da! Well, Claiborne, here's what I've learned. First, I am not an expert Lego builder because that took me a lot longer than I thought it would. And second, a hundred pieces is a lot more pieces than I thought it would be because it just it felt like a lot of pieces to deal with. Nevertheless, this is a cool set. It's a lot more modular than previous seasonal sets because this one comes on three different base plates where usually they just come on one. This one has the carrot planter with a hidden egg and a chicken coop here, which is also cool, and the mailbox. And they all have their own little hidden eggs, I can't open this one, uh, their own little hidden eggs and, and their own little details, and, and plus it comes with a chicken, which is awesome. I also really like that it sort of like gets all of the weird Easter things together in a single set. It has the carrots and the chicken and the eggs that are painted, and it doesn't have any rabbits, but that's also a part of this somehow, and I'm not really sure because I've never actually done the research. But I do remember, Claiborne, when I was a kid and in Lovington, we would take and we would hard boil eggs and then we would paint them and then we'd go hide them out in the yard. And then I'm not really sure who thought it would be a prize to go and hunt down hard boiled eggs because they're kind of gross, especially after they've been sitting out in the sun all day. Other than hard boiled eggs, my family didn't really do much for Easter growing up. We didn't do Easter baskets or big family lunches or anything like that. So I didn't really do much for Easter until I met Steph, and then I um had to. So Steph's family still does do big Easter lunch, and they even still give each other Easter baskets. And so Steph and I give each other Easter baskets as well. And in fact, this car was going to be a part of Steph's Easter basket, except she reminded me that I told her it was going to be a birthday present. So I did want to let you know that we did get the Lego buggy, and I hope you get one too. I also hope you have a happy Easter. Over and out.